Now this question says, what is the lowest common multiple of 16, 12, and 4? So they want us to find the LCM, which we know is the lowest common multiple of three numbers, 16, 12, and 4. Now there are two ways we would normally solve for the lowest common multiple, but in this video, I'm just going to show you the prime factorization method. The first thing we must remember is what is a prime number. Now we know a prime number is going to be a whole number greater than 1 that has two factors, 1 and itself. Now if we write the list of prime numbers, let's just write the first five prime numbers. We know the first five prime numbers are going to be 2, 3, 5, 7, and 11. So these numbers right here are all known as prime numbers. Now prime factorization is when we multiply prime numbers together to get the original number. Let's do this example. So remember, we have three numbers. The first number is going to be 16. So we want to find the factors of 16. What are two numbers when multiplied that are going to give you 16? We can say 8 multiplied by 2, right? 8 times 2 is 16. Now, if we look at this, we can see we have a prime number, and our prime number is going to be 2. So because we have our prime number of 2, that side is now complete. Now, we still have the number 8. So let's find the factors of 8. What are two factors of 8? We know 2 and 4 are going to be factors of 8 because 2 times 4 is going to give us 8. So we can write 2 and 4. As we can see, we have another prime number which is going to be 2. Now we still have the number 4. 4 is not a prime number, therefore let's find the factors of 4. We know 2 multiplied by 2 is going to give us 4. Therefore, the factors of 4 are going to be 2 and 2. And we know 2 is a prime number. Therefore, our problem is now complete because we have found all the prime numbers for the number 16. Now let's solve for the number 12. So we have 12. We can say 3 multiplied by 4 are going to be two factors. Now we know 3 is a prime number, therefore this side is complete. So we're just going to look at 4. We know 4 is not a prime number, so the factors of 4 are going to be 2 multiplied by 2. And we know 2 is a prime number, therefore this problem is now complete. We have found all the prime factors for 12. Now for our last number, we have 4. We know the factors of 4 are going to be 2 and 2. And we know 2 is a prime number. Therefore, we have found all of the prime factors for 4. Now, once we have done this, we know in prime factorization, we're now going to have to multiply the prime factors. And when we look at this, we know we have two different numbers, correct? We have a 2 and we have a 3. These are the two distinct numbers in this situation. So let's write 3. And how many times does 3 appear? Well, 3 only appears one time. Therefore, we're just going to write it once. So we have 3 multiplied by 2. But it's going to be 2 to a certain power. Now the question is, to what power? Well, let's see how much times 2 appears in this situation. For the number 16, 2 appears 1, 2, 3, 4 times. For the number 12, 2 appears 1, 2 times. And for the number 4, 2 appears 1, 2 times as well. So should we write it 3 multiplied by 2 to the 4th power, 3 multiplied by 2 to the 2nd power, or should we just add up all of the times 2 appeared in these numbers, which would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8.
So would we say 3 multiplied by 2 to the 8th power? Well, the way we're going to do it, we're going to see where the number 2 appears the most amount of times in a number. So for example, for the number 16, we can see 2 appeared 1, 2, 3, 4 times. For the number 12, 2 appeared 1, 2 times. And for the number 4, 2 appeared 1, 2 times. So in this situation, 2 appeared in the number 16 the most amount of times because it appeared 4 times, right? And because this is the case, we're just going to write it to 2 to the power of 4. So we can say 3 multiplied by 2 to the power of 4. Now let's solve the exponent first. So we have 3 multiplied 2 to the power of 4 is going to give us 16. We know we can say 2 multiplied by 2 is going to give us 4. 4 multiplied by 2 is going to give us 8. And 8 multiplied by 2 is going to give us 16. So that is how we got 2 to the power of 4. Now we have 3 multiplied by 16. When we do the multiplication on this, 3 multiplied by 16 is going to give us the answer 48. Therefore, this is going to be our answer for this problem. So for the lowest common multiple of 16, 12, and 4, we're just going to write the answer 48.